Hello, it is currently like almost 10 p.m. on Friday night and I was meant I'm gonna place you down. I was meant to start this in the morning, but then I just didn't. Um but yeah, I didn't really do much today. I wrote like three and a half thousand words. I think I'm gonna write a little bit more right now just because why not? But I did write about three and a half thousand words, which is pretty good considering I've done it really poorly recently in writing in general but yeah i do want to finish this by the first week of march so that i could go into edits for the first book in this series but i was just doing like an outline for a completely different book i have this other scrivener document where i like each document i put in is just a different idea for a different like book slash series um and recently after finishing the study trilogy i had this one thought right in my head so i just started writing it down today just started writing the like scenes that i have i basically have it's not a real outline it's more like a vague outline because it's telling me what's happening but it's not really telling me the scenes so like that part of that one isn't done but i pretty much have the beginning settled and how we get it, how we get into the change the status quo section settled and then I have different scenes throughout but that's about it so yeah I wrote that and it's been so fun honestly writing this I just I really like my main character and basically I wanted to open this up and say it's funny because I always not always but like these two that I'm really focusing on because most of my other ones don't really have the same shared concept but these two, so the one I'm, series I'm writing right now and this one, share the fact that they both have a basis and a different story. Now, in general, nowadays, pretty much no story is completely unique just because, like, pretty much everything has been written. So you can probably find similarities in a lot of things, which I actually like because if you like one book, then you kind of want similarity in different books so you can continue on with that, like, trope. But... I started thinking and I just found that funny and so the series I'm writing right now I nicknamed Charmed and this one I nicknamed Twins for no obviously they're twins in the series um but just because I can't really think of a name pretty much all of these don't have like an actual name like all of my ideas here they just have random words to to, to indicate which story it is but the fact that I called it Charmed, the series I'm working on right now, is actually because the first, very first bit, so like maybe the first 10 chapters, probably even less than that, of the first book, I started writing as using the show Charmed as a basis, like the the revival, not the original, as a basis for it. I did change a lot of it and going into edits, I'm going to probably end up changing more, so it's not like the same thing at all. The, the closest it is to the same thing is the fact that it's three sisters and one of them wasn't always with them type of situation. Uh, but yeah, and then this, I use, this one actually is way lighter basis. Like I use the basis of poison study in the lightest sense of the term, the lightest. And at this point, I've changed it so much that I don't even think there's a basis to it anymore. But it is what got me thinking about it. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I might start writing this one next. Mind you, that would be in who knows how long. Although I can write it simultaneously next to like writing the Charm series. And then that way I'll have... My mind will be like open so I can be writing multiple things. And like I'm not clogged down into one story. Although I'm definitely not going to be writing this anytime soon. Because at the very least I would need to plot out an outline and then I also need to plot out the fantasy world which is why I didn't want to start with fantasy in my writing career because you have to actually make an entire world for it whereas urban fantasy which is what charmed is or you know or contemporary books and stuff like that you don't have to make up a world it's already there um by the way, these are not going to be called Charmed or Twins or anything. Those are just what I'm calling them now. 
what am I gonna call them in the future? I have absolutely no idea, but yeah, this is a great time. Good morning. It is actually not that early anymore. It's 11.15. Um, I just finished my splits and hips class, which is basically they were doing it over Zoom because if you're not, if you don't actually have to use the pole, actually, I'm pretty sure it's everything except the splits and hips class is um in person but because this is just like mostly stretching it's cool to do over zoom plus it's a lot cheaper to do it over zoom anyway i just finished my class i got at the boston pole fitness studio um it was my first class there and i'm actually really glad i went with this as my first class it was a buy one like buy two for the price of one so i got two weeks worth of it i also have this next week but i'm so glad i got this class because let me tell you i needed it My, i mean i've been stretching a little bit this week but like this has been this pulled more this really shows how weak i am because i haven't worked out in so long um but yeah i am excited i have this exact class it's called splits and hips basically it's like conditioning slash stretching your hips mostly and then at the end you do like after your body's warmed up to it you'll do a little bit of splits um which was fun and then i have this exact class again next week i'm trying to find my app for this i have this exact class next week and then they yeah, have this one class called floor work that I really want to do. Oh, and liquid motion I want to do as well. Liquid motion and floor work, I think are the same thing. Um, yeah. They're almost the same thing. I, no, I think they're the same thing. But anyway, those two, essentially the floor work stuff is the ones I really want to do. Like, I want to do the pole work too, but I can, I can push that one off a little bit. And I can take intro to pole <clears throat> in a couple of months. But currently, I'm going to do liquid motion and floor work. They have a liquid motion today at 1230. I'm not going to go to it, but they have one. Badass face work and low flow. What is this? Oh, you must take intro to pull first. Um, but yeah, it was fun. The instructor was really nice. And I'm excited to continue. My arms are sore. Like... That's how, like we didn't even do a lot on arms. We mostly, like we did a tiny, tiny bit of downward dog in order to get into a position. And my arms are like done for it. That's how, that's how weak I am. But currently I'm gonna get changed and then head out to the library one to return some bucks and pick up a bunch of new ones. And then I need to go to a store on Newberry Street I'm not gonna buy anything. I just need to go and check out their clothes for the article I'm writing. So let's go. Hello. So I just got back. I went to the store and it was one really quiet because there's no one there. So, and it was like awkward because the two sales guys there were like constantly coming up and talking to me. And I was like, bro, leave me alone. But they were really sweet. Um, but yeah, because it's COVID and I couldn't try anything on it really defeated the purpose of my going but anyway other than that i also went to the library to drop off some books and pick up a bunch of other books and i also went to tate it's in this cup now because it got cold while i was out in the snow it's not snowing it's like drizzle snowing um but it got cold so i poured it in here so i can microwave it it's the hazelnut latte if you ever go to tate definitely recommend um so i'm just gonna do a little library haul because why not we have God, this entire bag full and they're all hardbacks oh my god my shoulder really got it today so the first thing we have is another full set trilogy and that's the winner's curse trilogy by maria i'm not maria by Mari rukowski i was gonna say maria v schneider by Mari rukowski so we have the winner's curse the winner's crime and the winner's kiss um all i know about this is that the first book is like she buys a slave and then they fall in love 
something like that i don't remember it was popular years ago um and i was just at the tea station waiting for the tea to come so i can come back and i was looking at these books and then i was like wait please tell me book two doesn't have the love triangle that's a very popular to put into second books um i feel like it doesn't i feel like this trilogy doesn't have a love triangle but also i don't know but i'm hopeful it doesn't but yeah i picked up all three i think in March, I'm going to do the same thing I did this month with the study trilogy and try to just marathon the entire thing. So yeah, that'll be fun. And then, okay, so I put this one and it, the first two books on hold, but only the third one was ready, so they gave it to me. So we have Champion by Marie Lu. We have a lot of Maries, Marias. Um, this is the third book in the Legend trilogy. Books one and two are still on hold. They just haven't got into the, like they're not ready at the library so yeah i'm just gonna wait until the first two are ready so and then i'll marathon this trilogy this trilogy is a lot shorter like all the books are relatively short i don't know how long this is like 370 yeah i think they're all like 300 to 380 pages so yeah whenever my next trip they should probably be ready when i return some books i'll pick up the other two and i'll marathon this trilogy and then we have Times Convert by Deborah Harkness. This is the companion to the All Souls trilogy following his name was Matt Marcus. Following Marcus, who's Matthew's son in the All Souls trilogy. Son. Um oh, what is this? Oh, that's a jet blue card. Oh, someone's probably reading this on the plane. Um, I go back inside. Whatever. But yeah, I loved the All Souls trilogy. I read it almost two years ago, I think. So yeah, I just want to read this. And then I'll technically have all of Deborah Harkness's books out because she only has four books out. That's her. She is a professor at the University of Southern California, if you didn't know that. Then we have, now we have my receipt. When are these due? March 13th. And then we have Gods of Jade and Shadow by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. This is a lot skinnier than I was expecting it to be. How, how, what is this? It's like 300, not even three, it's like 335 pages. Oh, it looks like in pristine condition. It's so fun to get books from the library in like a literal pristine condition. Um, but yeah, I just really want to read this. So I picked it up. I also have her other book. I don't Mexican mm, something I don't know what it's called but her other book on hold but I'm number like 100 something on the whole list so like who knows how long until I get that book but yeah I have this one and then Reagan from Prose Project raved about it and she was really enjoying it so I'm actually really excited to get into this plus that's a standalone so I won't have to worry about like Continuing on, we have another standalone, Warrior of the Wild by Trisha Levenseller. Uh, her other book, Shadow, I don't remember what it's called again, but like the other book, um, I also have on hold. I've had it on hold longer than this one, and it's still not ready. But yeah, I'll just read this one again, another standalone, so I'll be done with it after that. And then after I read the other book, Shadows something something, I'll have all of Trisha Levenseller's books done. So yeah, I really enjoy, I, I mean, I enjoy the pirate of the daughter of the pirate king duology these two books so i feel like i'll enjoy this too then final two we have storm and fury by jennifer larmanchild this is the first book in the companion trilogy to the dark elements following i don't remember his name it's 500 pages following what was his name what was his name i don't remember zane following Zane and yeah the third book to this comes out June 1st I think so I have the first one I should put the second one on hold too but it's not letting me I don't know why so yeah we're gonna read the first one and then try to get the second one and then the third one comes out in June and I'll like read that then and I'll have this entire trilogy done as well and the final book we have is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Moss this is the novella bind up of the in the throne of the glass series i'm pretty sure it's a prequel novella bind up like all these books are prequel i mean all these stories are prequels 
um i put the books one and two in this series on hold before this still not ready you see that's a theme here but this one's ready but my thing is i'm not sure if i'm allowed to like read this not allowed but like if i should be reading this before i read the first two because i think this technically came out after the third book so i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna do some research to find out if i should and if I can, I'm going to definitely pick this up sometime soon so I can get started on this series. Because I'm trying to also have all of Sarah J. Moss's books read. So. So we have them settled right there. And then these are the books I still have left over. Like the ones I didn't take back. So we have The Caged Queen by Kristen Citrelli. This is the second book in the Scary trilogy. The Burning Shadow by Jennifer Armentrout. This is the second book in the Origin trilogy. And hoping to be in the mood to read it soon so I can continue on with this trilogy. This, and then we have Jacoby by William Ritter. It's the first book in the Jacoby Quartet. I don't know if I'm going to read this. I essentially just kept it because it's like 299 pages. It's so short. So I feel like I could quickly at least get that one read. And then we have The Wallflower Wager by Tessa Dare. I plan on reading this soon. I just don't know when exactly yet. And then we have the book I'm reading currently, The Wish Granter by CJ Redwine. I'm literally like 30 pages in. But yeah, I'm excited to get into all these books. If you're wondering why that's there, it's because I lotion up my feet before putting on socks. My socks are like right here. So that's why. But yeah. I love the Boston Library. So I went to the Armenia store the other day to pick up a couple of things. And every time I go, I go like once every couple of months because it's in Watertown and I don't have a car, so it's kind of far. But anyway, every time I go, I pick up like the things that I can actually use for a few months. And then I also pick up a couple of treats. So I picked up this cheese biotic. And I'm so excited to eat it. I also picked up some Lama Ju and this like bread thing um i don't actually know what the bread is called but because we're in boston it's very it's a Beirut version of it which it's like a lebanese armenian version of it rather than armenian armenian because in la we're pretty much majority armenian armenian we're, we're like majority highest aunties um here the majority Beiruts. so I don't know where the majority Boscahais live, but they're not here. They're Beirut's here, which their food is good. It's just, it's like, it's a little, it's, it's just like a little off from what I'm used to. So, hey, I mean, I'm not going to complain. At least I still get Armenian food. So it's like 540 and I'm currently reading The Wish Granter by CJ Redwine. It's the second book in this quartet but they're companion books so i don't have to remember anything that happened in the first book which is a good thing because i read that over a year ago um but yeah our main character in this book ari is so fucking dumb she's so dumb oh my god she she's like it she's not using any of her senses like she's just walking she's acting like i really can't speak she's acting Throughout the book, so far, um, how far am I? I'm 74 pages in. She just became like the official princess because she was a princess before, but she's like the official princess now. But because she wasn't the official princess, she basically grew up with the servants because her mom was a servant. Um, and so she grew up like that. And now that she's like the official princess, she's now... She ha now has to act like the nobility and she you know you can you continually get it within these 70 pages where she's like no but i'm not a princess no but i don't want to do that i just want to go big but then she acts like the nobility she acts so high strong and high up there like she went to the market and she's like oh no one can touch me guards what she's so dumb she's even before that when all the panic in people's eyes like you couldn't eat that didn't register in your mind like i know 
it sounds like I'm being spoilery, but I'm actually not because you it's not really spoiling anything. But also she's just so dumb. I literally cannot handle it. We're 92 pages and I literally don't care. I don't feel any emotion. Like we're supposed to be feeling upset. I do not feel it. I do not care. So that's upsetting because I really enjoyed the first book in the series. I don't remember like I remember one little scene of what happened in that book and it's not even a fun scene. It's like a sad scene. Um, I don't really remember what happened in it. I just remember I enjoyed it. It was like a four. I saw it on Goodreads the other day. It was a 4.2 stars. But yeah, right now this is going on to like a two stars. I feel like it'll be a three stars by the end of it. But I don't see it going over that. Shame. So I took some time to do homework and then I was stalking people on instagram i wasn't doing that i was on the boston pole fitness instagram i was just going through like stuff that people had posted just so i could see it because you know i think it's fun anyway i started reading this again and i only read one chapter but it felt my mom's calling hold on okay we're back i don't remember what i was saying but i think i was saying how like it feels very forceful the like Sebastian and Ari, you know, noticing something in each other. Like, I don't know. I feel like their little friendship to romance, it just doesn't seem very believable to me. But also, why is it? This is why I turned this on. I just remembered. Why is it that I like the Wish Granter the most? Like, why is he my favorite character? He's the enemy in the story. He's my favorite character right now. Like, all the other characters in I mean, I, actually, I like Sebastian too. But the Wish Granter so far is like the one I like the most. Like, obviously, I'm rooting against him because that's the part of this, this you know, the part of the. Oh my god. That is the point of the story. Wow. I don't know where my mind is right now. But. He is also the one I think I like most right now, even though I know he's going to be defeated at the end. Um, but yeah, my goal is to read another, I don't know, page I'm on. Another 21 pages, so I can have 100 pages read for the day. And then, like, honestly, I like to read more than that too, but at least another 21. And then maybe do a little bit of homework. I like to say that, but I know I'm not going to do homework right now. But I'll definitely do some tomorrow. Oh, actually, maybe I'll write. Yeah. Because that I can actually do later on. I don't know. I will let you know later if I write or not. Hello, troublemakers. <laughs> I'm watching Dylan's in trouble right now as I do some work. And by work, I mean I am just, you know, timelining my publishing publishing career. Um, but yeah, he I, I just started a new video and he opened it with Hello, troublemakers right before I turned this on. Oh, I love him. I'm literally in love with this man. He's so cute. Um, I was, I started at like 9.15ish job searching because I do that on a regular basis. I just start looking for stuff, even though there aren't very many operations positions and marketing positions, I'm pretty sure are supposed to go up in March. So there's still... A little bit of time until those go up. But like there are positions up. And I do look. Because you never know. I might find something. Um, no. The anxiety of not having a job after graduation hasn't hit me yet. But I'm sure it will. The closer we get to graduation. Um, but yeah. I did that for about a good 5 to 10 minutes. Before I don't remember how. But I got the show. Oh you know. That's how. I was watching Katie Kate's book date. So I was watching Katie's um, most recent vlog and she talked about how she was like already planning for the future. And I already had some plans for the future listed pretty much until May 2022. I pretty much had it planned. But then I was like, you know, let me continue planning. Let me just see if I want to plan more. And this new trilogy 
I've decided it's gonna be a trilogy. The new trilogy that I began outlining yesterday, day before yesterday. When was the one that I started yesterday? Um, I really like that story, so I think that it's gonna be the next one I write. We still have time to think about it, but also uh, probably not that much time because I made a schedule for that trilogy as well. It's a lot more spread out because I'm focusing on this quartet first and then on the in areas where I have space, I threw in working on that trilogy. So that one goes into like fall of 2022. So then fall of 2022, I could start another series, you know? you know working on two at a time is kind of nice because you're always out like you always give yourself time away from another from the like story you're working on but in saying all this i am doing this on the theory that i'm gonna have as much time or energy to put into all of this stuff as i do currently because i'm gonna have a well most likely you know hopefully it was hopefully i get a job but i'm gonna have a a nine to five starting June, at the very least July. That's my my siblings. Um, so like June July ish, I should have like a nine to five, which shouldn't be a problem because honestly, currently I only put in like an hour a day. So if I only put in an hour a day, then it should be fine. But it's gonna be the energy part of it. Because I'm either going to have to wake up extra early at like 6, 6.30 um, so that I get like an hour done. So by 7, 7.30 I'm done and I get dressed and like get ready to commute to work because I don't have a car in Boston. So I would, I, I don't have a car in, at all, not just in Boston, but I don't have a car in Boston so I wouldn't be able to drive. So it takes a lot longer to commute um, and then be at work and then on the commute back. From work I'm hoping I can get myself to read but then I also commuted when I was interning in London and I told myself I was gonna read and I never did it because I was I just I like to sit in the tea and just like listen to music and just go into my head so I don't know but saying all that I'm either gonna have to wake up early and do that or come home and do it at like 8 or 9 p.m I'd rather do it in the morning but I don't know I don't know it's 11 45 I actually never got any more writing done I got 1300 words yeah I pretty much just wrote the rest of chapter 15 i had like a little bit of it written from yesterday and i just wrote the rest of it the good thing is chapter 16 pretty much the entirety of chapter 16 i don't actually know because i haven't read the outline yet but like i'm pretty sure the entirety of chapter 16 which is it's not even that long of a chapter and oh yeah and the beginning oh lies lies and all of chapter 17 maybe the big chapter <laughs> I'm really just saying everything now okay 16 and 17 I am excited to write so depending on how long they are I will hopefully get them the well 16 I definitely want to finish tomorrow whether or not I'll actually get into 17 is a different story but yeah I I mean, if, it'd be great if I could get 16 and 17 done or 16 and like majority of 17 done because I am a little behind on my little schedule. I was supposed to have this entire book done in February and right now it's calculating, the, ugh, calculating out to like March 3rd or 4th. Um, and that's on the basis that next weekend I don't write that much because... A Court of Silver Flames comes in on Monday. It's coming in a week late, but we're going to ignore that. And so I'm going to start reading it Thursday night, Friday morning. I'm not sure. Probably Thursday night. 
So I'm pretty much, I bucked up all Friday to read it. But I'm a slow reader, so if in case it takes longer, which I don't think it will, I think what'll happen is I'll just read through the night. <laughs> and then I'll hate myself because I have a class. I have a splits and hips class on Saturday morning, so... Anyway, that's probably what'll happen, so I feel like I should be able to finish it if I start Thursday night and read through Friday. <laughs> read through Saturday morning. Um, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, but because I don't know how much of that weekend I'm gonna be reading Agassif, I pretty much just left like one chapter for the entirety of those like three days, and I'm like... At least let me get one chapter done those three days. So, if I can read Agatha faster and um, I have a little bit of time, hopefully I can bring it in so I finish closer to like March 1st, March 2nd. Um, but yeah, if I can get a couple these couple chapters done like faster within the next day or two that'll really help me out but actually now i'm curious hold on a lot of these chapters don't seem that long but then i write them and they're like two and a half three thousand words and i'm like huh okay it's kind of long and that's that's the non-edited version when i edit first of all there's gonna be descriptions put in and then i'm sure i'll probably add in a little bit more so, anyway, what happened in chapter 19? Yeah, pretty much 16, 17, 18 are the chapters I'm, like, excited to be writing right now. And then I don't really know what happened after that, so... Like, I didn't write this outline, I'm like, I don't know what happens. But, yeah, that's all to say. I didn't write that much, did I? I added, like, 230 words to my outline for the twins books um which is pretty much i went to bed last night and i was thinking about that one scene the last scene that i actually had thought out and written and i just added to it and so i wrote it in my phone i was like let's not forget to write this and then i added it and then i added a little bit more because i was writing so it was in a lot it was like 230 words but i have added and yeah the goal for the next couple months is just gonna be to add to this plot line. First, first of all, just to add to this plot line so that I actually have a story. And then, hold on, let me check my schedule. Yeah, and then in like April, May-ish maybe, I can start thinking about like the world or you know or in march basically throughout the outline i can also think about the world and like create this entire world but all that is to say i'm over here trying to remember why i started filming in the first place well that's to say i have my schedule outlined until like fully outlined until halfway through next year and then we hit July of next year, 2022, 2022, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know because I do have some stuff from July to October, but I have at least two things I'm working on for most of the months, not all of them, but most of them. And right and I don't know what that next project is going to be. Because right now, I just have the Charm series and the Twin series outlined here. I don't have the next one. And that's because that's over a year away. Like, the outlining section I put in for July of next year. So, I'm like, I literally don't know. There are different series. One on that document where I have a bunch of ideas. But also... This other one, this like companion one that I have thinking. The problem is I don't really know what the plot at all would be for that one. But I can figure that out later. Like even if I start outlining 
later this year, which hopefully I don't do that because I have enough things on my schedule. But even if I did that, like, it's plenty of time until then. Soar. I can't really go on until 2023 because I don't know what I'm going to be writing for the latter, for the second half of 22. Therefore, I don't know what's going to be happening in 23. But I do have tentative dates for publishing each of the books. It looks good. I don't know. 23 doesn't have enough there. No, actually, I feel like that's fine because I'm going to, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's literally about to be midnight. So I need to go get ready and go to sleep. But I'm tired, bro. Like I can, I feel like you can tell I'm tired because I, my thoughts are so jumbled up. <laughs> and I'm like scrolling around. I'm like, what is even the point? Um... I need to stop rambling. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Bye. Good afternoon. It is 1 30 on a Sunday afternoon. I'm doing some work. We gotta make some money for that rent. Um but yeah, I just wanted to fill in. I did finish writing my article this morning and I'm gonna TLC it a little bit later. But it's done and I like it. I think it's cute. Um and also vacuumed. Ah, it's so annoying being a girl sometimes because you have to vacuum like every day. Let me tell you, we shed so much. I got some stretching done this morning too. So, I mean, we've done pretty well after like half an hour, maybe an hour. I'm going to move on from work and do some homework maybe. And then write because... Like I said last night, chapter 16, 17, 18 are the ones I'm really excited about getting to, so I'm excited to get there. But also, I haven't started editing this video, but I, you know, started transferring some of the files. And a lot of these scenes are dark. This one might be dark too, I cannot see it. Um, so I apologize, but oh well. Hello, it's 4 o'clock. I have been actually really productive i'm so proud of myself i did a bunch of work still have a bunch left but like we're gonna do that later i started my assignment that's due on wednesday but then i'm confused about the assignment so i'm gonna wait until class tomorrow and i'm gonna ask her about it and then i prepped a video that i have going up thursday it's basically about bu like yes or no uh, so I prepped it. We'll see how that video actually goes when I film it tomorrow. Um, and then I sent it my article. I TLC'd it and sent it in. And then I'm going to start writing soon. I'm so excited. But I just, once in a while, I go through this thing where I, like, remember a couple of, couple of the songs I had on my original iPod Nano. Like, was it called the Nano? The, like, I'll put up a picture. Um, mine was, like, the light blue one. And then the first two songs I had on it, I had for like a while before I got any more songs on because like obviously we put that shit in illegally. Um, but the two songs were on there. I don't remember why they were on there, but they were on there first. And then I finally got like, she was like, she was like a friend, but she was older than me um, to put on her playlist. Wait, did she do it or did my, I don't remember who did it, but someone put their playlist into my iPod. But the first two songs I had on there were You In Your Hand by Pink and Damaged by Shane Ward. And so I listened to those two songs on repeat over and over and over again. And I had You In Your Hand in, you know, my library already on my phone. And so it came up. Well, I mean, it came up on my laptop. But like, same thing. Apple Music. It came up and then I was like, oh, I want to listen to Damaged. So... I, you know, when I finished, I paused it, paused it, and I went on to YouTube because I can't remember what the man, what the guy's name was. I was like, it's like Wayne or Sh Dwayne or something. His name is Shane. I was close. Um, but yeah, I went on to YouTube. I found Damage, and then the autoplay for the next song went on, and it was Breathless. And oh my God, they are so beautiful. I mean, I already knew Damage, but Breathless is such a beautiful song. 
and I was just sitting here listening to it and like envisioning a little routine. I do that a lot with with songs, but oh, it was so cute. But yeah, I think it's four o'clock exactly right now. I then I start writing in like 15 minutes. So I'm gonna give myself a tiny break. And then hopefully after that, I could one, get some more homework done, but also it's, it's over there, but like read my book. It's like 8.45 and I finally got my email from my creative writing professor because this week I have to like give no, like do an analysis on the readings he gives us. Basically our class, class is broken up in separate groups so like each group does something different every week. And he hadn't posted the readings onto Blackboard. He, I mean, I think he had, it just wasn't popping up on, on Blackboard. And so I emailed, I was like, hey, can you just send it here? And he hadn't been responding to that either. And then he finally sent us an email an hour ago and it's two fucking poems. I, when I tell you, I know I'm not gonna understand what's going on. I don't know how I'm gonna do an analysis of this. The ones we had last time was also a poem. It was one poem back then. And I had no idea what was going on. The guys in the class were all analyzing this thing and I was sitting there like, what are you talking about? And I'm ready to cry right now because I don't wanna do it. Well, one, because I was gonna do this like days ago. And I emailed him for it like days ago and now I have to do it tomorrow. And it's due by Tuesday morning, which means I only have tomorrow to do it. So I have to do it tomorrow. I don't want to do it tomorrow. <laughs> and now I'm seeing that they're poems. I especially don't want to do it. Um, but yeah, I've been reading a little bit of this. And by a little bit, I mean, I literally only got like 40 pages in. It's so boring. I don't care. It's just, it's not gripping me like the first one did. I definitely do not see myself continuing on with this series, even though it's not fair because they're companion books, so they don't all follow the same characters. But yeah, <clears throat> I'm not enjoying this one. It's just, I feel like we're repeating a lot of information. I just don't care. Um, but I am determined to finish it. So I will be doing that. I'm on page 180, so I'll just get past the halfway mark, which is 212 pages in. So another like 30, 32 pages. Mm, we'll see. Also, I was just watching Dylan is in Trouble's Twilight little section. He just finished Twilight. He's going on to New Moon. And I love this man. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. He's just so funny, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it's 8.45 and... Oh, I actually got... Oh, I don't remember if I talked about this before, so I'm going to talk about it now. I got a good amount of writing done. I got two hours in, which basically was just all of chapter 16. Um, it was 2,776 words, so we did pretty well there. <clears throat> uh kind of want to start chapter 17 too because the beginning of chapter 17 I'm so excited for uh but yeah I probably won't because I do want to get more of this read and then I have to do some stuff for my mom tonight so tomorrow but I'm excited oh also tomorrow I'm supposed to be getting my copy of the card self in flames <laughs> yeah okay goodbye at least for now Hello, this will probably be my last little clip coming in. It's 10.30. I did get some more reading done. I did not get to 100 pages for the day. We're at 220 pages, so we did make it over 50%. I'm not enjoying it at all. Like, ugh. the last thing that happened, I was like, oh my god. How are we only halfway through? Like, it feels like we should be done. Um, I'm not looking forward to the rest of it, but I'm only halfway through, so I'm not going to DNF it. I put too much into this to DNF right now. Anyway, I am currently on Craigslist looking at apartments. Um, last year when I got this place, mind you, I really love this place and I love my landlords. Like they are the nicest people. But I get anxiety because of the way that these are like open and I've had mice a couple of times and now that's all I think about. Plus, when I got this place, I fully did it over, like, video because I was in L.A. So I couldn't actually inspect the place myself. 
But anyway, I do like really enjoy this place, but I want something where it's like not a studio because I'm very much, I work, like where I sleep and where I work have to be separate for me to get my ample amount of work done. So theoretically, I'd love a two bedroom. Would I get a two bedroom? Probably not, unless I could get one at like the same price or cheaper than my rent here. Theoretically, I should be getting a place with a roommate because that would really be saving costs. But I also, one wouldn't just get a random roommate. First of all, I wouldn't want to do that, but also my mom would like literally have a heart attack from across the country. And two, I have like one friend here and she's looking for apartments too because she's, right now she's an RA. But I think she's trying to go into like housing, like her roommate with like some of her closest friends. I don't know, I brought up housing with, not with her, but I brought up like the topic of housing a couple of times and I don't know. We haven't really got into that conversation. Mind you, I haven't seen her in months. So like we've been texting, but I'm looking and I found this one place. First of all, it's really, it's kind of dumb to be looking now because I don't need a place until like mid July. Like I need a place where July is when they need move in because like mid July is, well, like july is my last month here so like mid july is when i would move out so most of these need someone to take over now or they're ready for june or september but not july um but i found this one place it's a thousand dollars for a one bedroom but i can't tell if it's just rent out one bedroom in the place or if you actually get the one bedroom apartment because it looks way too nice to be getting the fall apartment for only a thousand dollars but yeah, I am looking through, doing this online is so much easier than doing it on your phone. It's, oh my god, so much easier. But, oh, that's what I was going to say. I rented this place, but I did it from a broker, which I mean is great, you know, like good for them for doing their job. But that broker's fee, in Massachusetts, the broker's fee is one month's rent. So one month's rent, I just gave away just like that. Um, and I'm not trying to do that again, so I'm trying to find somewhere where there is no broker fee. And Craigslist tends to have the ones with no broker fees, so that's probably what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night. I wanted to write, but I'm also feeling tired, so like I don't wanna write when I'm feeling so tired and I should be going to sleep, but also I don't wanna be going to sleep. I want to write a little bit. Like I want to get this book done by the end of the month. Which theoretically, if I can read Agassiz relatively fast, it's 800 pages, so I don't know if I can do it fast, but like relatively, like I feel like if I start it Thursday night and I read it all throughout Friday, I'll have it done. Which means Saturday I do have the Women in Business Conference, but like after this or like after 4 p.m., I should have time to write. And Sunday I'll definitely have time to write, so... If anything, I want to just have March 1st be the last day I write for this book. But I won't have it done. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm just going to go back to Craigslist. And searching apartments because I actually really enjoy doing that. And yeah, if you watched all this, thank you. It's been very like haphazard. It's just been like a bunch of random stuff thrown in. I don't know. I just wanted to vlog this weekend. So that's what I did. Um, I kind of want to continue i don't know sometimes i'm just really in the mood but yeah good night hello it's monday and i'm coming over here to open up my box oh, i'm so excited okay Let's see pull that says pull oh Is there a sticker on my oh i'm not gonna try to rip that off because that is not gonna be cute we got the little end pages i've said it before i'm not a fan of these cover changes i much prefer the first ones but compared to the cover change of the original four well three books in the and the novella this one is my favorite 
but I'm still not a fan of these changes. Oh my god. <gasps> it's 757 pages from what I've seen online. Oh, plus. Hold on. Okay, which means it ends right. 751 pages. 750 pages. Let's see how long is this story. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pages of phase end in the back. So theoretically, 760 pages. Um, oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, definitely, I feel like. One, I'm a slow reader, but Thursday night I should be able to get like two hundred pages into it, and then or like one fifty, like one fifty is two hundred, depending on what time I start reading. And then Friday, I feel like I should be able to finish the rest of the book because I already know I'm not gonna be able to put it down, and I'm so excited. <laughs> But I'm so nervous, it's not even funny. Like, this happened with The Court of Wings and Ruin as well. It came out in May, I didn't read it until July because one, I wanted to be like in the right mood for it, but also I was so nervous for what was gonna happen that I was like, nah, I'm not reading. <laughs> if you don't read it, it didn't happen. So <laughs> that's when I'm nervous about. I'm like, if I don't read it, it didn't happen. But also I'm so excited to read it, plus, and then I can go on Instagram on my explore page and not be spoiled. Like right now, everyone is putting like spoiler alert for this book, which I appreciate. So I just skip over those. But eventually, they're not going to be putting anymore because it's going to be long enough that like people have a chance to read it. And I'm going to read it this weekend. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh. I also really like that they didn't do Bible pages. Like in Aquilor, they did Bible pages, and I think some of the Throne Glass books they did too. And so it's a long book, but it makes it look shorter than Agamoth. Even though I'm pretty, I don't remember how much it was, but like I'm pretty sure it wasn't, or it was about the same size. Okay. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's go.